Tracking Hurricane Bill, a strong and large Category 2 hurricane. Next on PM Edition, the skies are dark and rain is already falling on the island of Bermuda. We're tracking Bill's weekend path, past New England into Canada. Just how big and dangerous will Bill's waves be? That's the question as cities along the eastern seaboard shut down weekend beach plans. Well, it's Friday, August 21st, and we're winding up for yet another active weather weekend. From Hurricane Bill and its impacts up and down the east coast to heavy rain in the northeast caused by a slow-moving front. PM Edition's where you want to be to keep ahead of these storms. I'm Vivian Brown along with Nick Walker. Thanks for tuning in. Beaches up and down the eastern seaboard are preparing for the impacts caused by Hurricane Bill. In, in fact, some New York City beaches have been closed to swimming already. Although the Category 2 hurricane is hundreds of miles away in the Atlantic Ocean, high waves, rip currents, and heavy surf have been seen along East Coast beaches. It's not bad enough, we've got Hurricane Bill to throw in the mix too, and that means we're going to find a bad beach weekend here all yeah. along the Northeast beaches and even farther toward the South. A tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch is in effect for the Atlantic island of Bermuda as Category 2 Hurricane Bill gets closer. The core of the hurricane expected to pass between Bermuda and the east coast of the United States tomorrow. But Bill's so big, with hurricane force winds extending out 115 miles from the center and tropical storm force winds extending out 260 miles, Bermuda is likely to feel its effects as it brushes by. In fact, looking at the satellite picture, you can see Bermuda here, some of the outer bands of rain already making their way over Bermuda right now. Still, just a little bit less than 300 miles away is Bill, but it will be getting closer and a tropical storm warning is in effect and a hurricane watch in effect. We might see some hurricane force wind gusts, but certainly tropical storm force winds are expected. That's why we have the tropical storm warning out. Tonight is probably going to be its closest past of Bill to Bermuda. So we'll keep an eye on Bill, now a Category 2 hurricane, 110 miles an hour in the center, and getting probably weaker gradually as it makes its way farther toward the north. But even by the time it gets to Nova Scotia, it still could be a hurricane. So Nova Scotia, well, you're affected every four years on average by a hurricane, and you very well could be affected by Bill with in terms of winds, but certainly with waves, 20 to 25 foot waves here as we get on to late Sunday and Monday. Before that, all the way from Florida, northward to Cape Cod, we're going to feel those waves all along our coast. Rip currents, battering waves, and closed beaches. As we mentioned, the New York City beach is already closed. Cape Hatteras, beaches are going to be closed to off-road vehicles starting tonight at 6 o'clock. We could see, particularly at high tide there along uh, the North Carolina beaches tomorrow, 16 to 22 foot waves and water rises of 1 to 3 feet. It is going to be a tough weekend all along the East Coast. The good news is we won't have hurricane force winds, just a lot of wave action. Vivian? Well, stay with us. There's more to come since the primary 